The following illustrates how muscle contractions occur and then how Botox Cosmetic helps to temporarily reduce the muscle contractions that cause facial lines to appear. Neurons send signals to the muscle cells, causing them to contract and produce movement. Over time, repetitive muscle movements may cause facial lines to form. The presynaptic neuromuscular motor nerve ending contains vesicles prepared to release the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. When neuronal stimulation occurs, the vesicle fuses with the nerve membrane. This process is facilitated by interaction between proteins on the vesicle and the cell surface, forming the snare complex. Binding of the vesicle to the membrane triggers acetylcholine release, which results in muscular contraction. This is the normal function of muscular contraction prior to Botox cosmetic injection. Now, let's review the Botox Cosmetic Mechanism of Action. The Botox Cosmetic Complex includes the 150 kilodalton core molecule surrounded by its protective accessory proteins. This is the 150 kilodalton core molecule. The Botox Cosmetic Core Molecule is comprised of a 100 kilodalton heavy chain and a 50 kilodalton light chain. The heavy chain contains the binding domain that allows it to interact with the receptor of the nerve terminal. Therefore, it is able to enter the cell through the process of endocytosis. The toxin, which is now contained within a vesicle inside the cell, releases the 50 kilodalton light chain into the cytoplasm. Once in the cytoplasm, the light chain is available to cleave SNAP25, one of the snare proteins involved in the formation of the snare complex. This prevents the release of acetylcholine. When acetylcholine cannot be released, muscle contraction cannot occur. When injected intramuscularly at therapeutic doses, Botox Cosmetic produces partial chemical denervation of the muscle resulting in a localized reduction of muscle activity. Remember, only Botox Cosmetic is FDA-approved for the temporary improvement in the appearance of three areas, moderate to severe forehead lines, lateral canthal lines, and glabellar lines in adults.